my name is reena today we will deal with the topic the limitation act 1963 now we will study the history of the law of limitation history of the law of limitation parallel to 1859 there was no law of limitation applicable to the whole of india it was only 1859 that a law relating to limitation was enacted that was applicable to all the courts which was subsequently repealed by the act of 1871 1877 1908 the limitation act 1908 was repealed by the third law commission and the limitation act of 1963 came into force purpose of the law of limitation act purpose its main objective is to provide a specific time frame within which a person can file a suit in a court if such law are not enacted then it will lead to never ending litigation as the person could file a suit for the cause of action which was done uh, which was done uh, many years back further moving to the next slide now we will discuss about the essential features of the limitation act of 1963 first it contains 32 sections and 137 articles minimum period of limitation prescribed in the limitation act is 10 days maximum period of limitation prescribed in the limitation act is 30 years it prescribes the time limit for filing suits appeal appeals and application within which an aggrieved person can approach the court for redress justice it is based on the following maxims interest reply uh, republica ut fit finis litium it is the interest of state that there should be an end to a litigation and second uh, the law will assist only those who are vigilant with their rights and not those who sleep upon it as we deal with the essential features history at all now we will deal with the definition of the limitation act so the uh, limitation act 1963 was an act of the parliament of the united kingdom that amended the statute of limitation to show, uh, to allow actions in some cases where the injured party had not discovered the injury until after the standard date of expi- expiration the act was based on the report of the davis committee on limitation of accounts actions in case of personal injury created uh, after the court of appeal decision in the case of cartledge versus jopling and the committee notably produced their final report before cartledge had been heard in the house of lords now we will deal with the question whether the act is exhaustive or not so the limitation act is exhaustive with respect to all matters expressly dealt in it it cannot be extended by analogy ordinarily the act applies only to civil cases except in the matter expressly and specifically provided for that purpose it is a procedural law unless there is a contrary intention manifested by express or necessary implication to the limitation itself procedural law is generally retrospective law operation of the law of limitation is retrospective as well as prospective it is the subject matter of concurrent list under the entry 13 list of indian constitution list 3 of indian constitution it only bars remedy but does not extend gives the right it means the law of limitation bars judicial remedy not extend gives the right exceptions section 27 of the limitation act